What is going on, everyone? I am Mega Dash, and welcome to the Lordly Taylor on October 12th, the main exhibition hall. Speaking of things being, you know, around October, it's not anywhere near October. It's closer to October than when I started this case. The save state I'm playing is from May 10th of 2016. I'm playing on August 28th. Of 2016. It's been over four months. Uh, I went through, I had a previous state from the start of the case and played it on four times speed to, re to remember what I did. And of course, by the time you see this, it'll probably be like December or something. That's the thing is I have a full-time job now and don't have as much time to actually get videos edited and uploaded and stuff. So... Things are going super slowly, but I have a big ass backlog of stuff that I already had recorded and edited, and maybe even rendered, just sitting around. I haven't got had time to go through it, make sure the renders are good, give titles. That's really the big thing, is I don't have time for that anymore. So, yeah, well, without further ado, let's head in, and hopefully it'll be, this will come out sometime in early September and not in, you know, next February or something. So Pearl says, Right, let's see if we can find the clues that might lead us to the bad guy! Uh, it doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Let me guess, the uh, urn was stolen from below. Like, maybe he knew where it was. Alright, it was, um... Was it the urn? I think it was the urn that got stolen. And it was stolen from a safe. I remember that from the opening cutscene that I just watched again. Like, yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Like, hmm, bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal! Yeah, I knew who it was as soon as I saw the question marks. Wait a minute, that voice... Oh no... Not him again! It's you! And I'm the one who should be saying, not again! Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? Because... It's kind of my job, even though I'm a lawyer, not a detective. I mean, <laughs> technically I was already here before anything happened. Um, I mean, I, I think the cutscene sort of took place between the previous day of play and now. So, uh, yeah, why is it every time some, 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 something bad happens, you show up? I'm usually there first. The same thing happened with Nickel Samurai. I should, uh, yes, thank you, Phoenix. I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that. Why are you doing hanging around here? Also, we know it's Gumshoe. Are you just putting on question marks because new people might be playing the game you haven't seen yet? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any- hey. Alright, alright, we got it. Why don't you two kiss the make up already? Ah, uh, she's a Phoenix Gumshoe shipper. I'm more- I'm more of a Fedgeworth person myself. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> no, no, it's alright. Fedgeworth- I'm either Phoenix and Maya or Phoenix and Edgeworth. The thing- the thing is, he's a little old for Maya, but... Anyway, so... <laughs> Pearl is- Pearl, the Phoenix and Maya shipper, is going to stop that in its tracks. Um, hello! It's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective! Oh, it's you, little missy! Um, ah! Actually, my name is Gumshoe! It's Dick Gumshoe! Ah, yes, you said Dick in front of a little kid. Now is a good chance for you to try to remember it right! Uh, I think she remembers. She doesn't- she just doesn't give a shit. And if it's too long for you, <laughs> just call him Dick. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I have lost the ability to can him. Mm. Pearl says, Okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game's writing, or localizations, since it probably wasn't written anything like that in Japanese. Um, yeah, good to see you again too, I guess. I sort of get the feeling that only the basic plot was kept from the Japanese and all the dialogue was rewritten, because live it probably wouldn't translate very well. Alright, we examined on day one, and I don't think there was anything there. I don't remember any of it, but I'm not going to subject you to it again. So I think the thing we're going to do here is probably talk about talk to Gumshoe about what happened. Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us about what happened? Oh, we were trying to remember my name. Atta girl. Um, just, it's Gumshoe. Okay, yeah, probably for the best. Uh, 
Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. Why is he telling me this? Why does he always tell me this stuff when he's not supposed to? I know about that. Oh, well, well the criminal's name is Mask the Mask. I know about that too. Detective, well, can you tell us something other than that? Uh, well, well, I guess I sort of kind of owe you guys. No way. Time occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. Wait, what does he owe me about? Uh, how exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard and seen the crime, pal. Don't tell me that's Adrian. Oh, it was a he. Okay. Unless they're trying to make that Adrian gender joke again. Um, he said the air was just stolen. Let me guess, Mask to Mask is the one who actually placed the call. See the crime, you mean here, right? Or downstairs. Wrong! That herb was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who's guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault when the thief got away, pal. He solves one case and gets a swell head, thinking that he's an ace detective. What, is this a new character? Uh, ace detective? Uh, I guess it's asking about the Ace Detective. So why do you call him an Ace Detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Mask has made five heists so far. Well, on the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Uh, wow, well, that is impressive. I'll blame himself. But so much for the first and third. Screw them. Uh, yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. None of us has ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. The mysterious detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. Uh, this guy's gonna be a jackass, isn't he? And he's probably messed to mask himself, trying to, you know, cover his ass, so everyone looks to him, and he only occasionally has to return a treasure. So he's out in the basement warehouse, huh? Alright, well that's about Master Mask. Hey, Detective, Detective Gumshoe, about this Mask the Mask. Is he famous? <laughs> what? You're joking, right, Nick? Ah, uh, yes, Maya has to culture me because I'm an own cultured loon. Master Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. He just stole our stuff. Dude. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear, unknown, known to surprise unsuspecting victims. Uh, I get the feeling some of that is made up. But underneath those disguises is the true Master Mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? Could he possibly disguise himself as an ace detective? And he goes after the finest works of art pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lord the Taylor had only cooperated, I would I could have caught them in time. Or could have caught him this time. So, yeah, no, you. No, what? Cooperated on what? Hey, we're gonna let you stand. What? What is he talking about? How would any of. How would Lordly Taylor or him know what was gonna happen? What? You knew he's planning on stealing the Sacred Urn? Yeah. Of course I did. But I always send his calling card before he steals something. Calling card. Oh, they mentioned that on TV. So, we're gonna get a talk option about it. So, what's this calling card? Here it is! Don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? As you say, as you show it to me, it's not hard on it. So, I, he sends that, and then, so, to tip off Gumshoe, but Lordly Taylor didn't believe him? Is that what's going on here? What's his mark on the front? That's Master Mask Signature Emblem, pal. You can say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. He didn't mention that in the newsflash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons, so no one tries to spam them with cards that are fake, I guess. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. Calling card was added to the court record. Are we gonna get any kind of closer look at the emblem? That makes sense. If you get famous, they're always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Uh, like... Um, like Apollo Justice and that one bird game. <laughs> I think he has plenty of copycats. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, so, there's nothing left. So, let's look at the court record for Mask Mask Calling Guard. So, yeah, we can touch the check button the details. Due to the security at Lordly Taylor, I'll be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display in your Treasures of Crane exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn, won't you? Yours truly, Mask the Mask. 
Oh, oh man, that's interesting. Uh, so do we have any sort of move option to the basement or something? We do indeed. That's probably going to be our next objective. So, looks like some things are, have been tossed around that weren't like that last time. So, October 12th, Lord the Taylor Basement Warehouse. No, oh, how many times do you come here? This place always gives me the chills. And that's probably because it's air conditioned to protect the art pieces, you know? Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos, says an unknown voice, probably Mr. Ace Detective. Huh? What the heck does that mean? Oh god. This is him, isn't it? What is this, some kind of wannabe Yu-Gi-Oh? I would do a Yu-Gi-Oh voice if I ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh and knew what he sounded like. Um, so, huh. I mean, this guy screams evil. So, what voice do I go with for this guy? I'll make something up on the spot. I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Er, um, who are you anyway? Just silence! Uh, okay. He's got a magnifying monocle, I guess? <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear! No, what, what do you see? Why? The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me! What? He's got a Pinocchio nose going on there. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Now they're very advanced at their trade. Um, yeah, that's rude. Uh, I mean, and you can tell that by our clothes. That's not exactly a fancy technique there. Am I wrong? This, so this dude is basically budget Sherlock Holmes, I guess. <laughs> um, see, but more evil looking? Thanks, that's scary. How did you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. What? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I am a traveler of both time and space. Uh, you ain't no time lord, dude. And a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman and introduce myself. My name is Atmi. Luke Atmi. Ace Detective. And yes, yes, I'm an ace attorney, you're an ace detective. <laughs> oh, um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Er, uh, um, the name's right. Phoenix, right. Ace attorney. I'm Maya Fay, ace spirit medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Fay, ace little girl. I'm his, I'm his cousin and, um, spirit medium, ace apprentice. Okay. Excellent! Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why is the phrase one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? Um, I don't get the impression he's stupid, just incredibly narcissistic. So, we can talk to him for some reason, so... Let's ask about Master Mask first. I've had enough Ace stuff in a game called Ace Attorney. Oh, tell us what you know about Master Mask, and keep it simple, please. Think about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. Your wife? Uh, you... You've done it, like... I, I meant, what, his last case well, couldn't have been more than, like, a year ago. I mean, and this guy sounds like he's still pretty new on the scene. I mean, he's the hottest thing right now. Uh, I don't think devoting your life to it can be said in this case, but he's probably, you know, he hasn't been stealing for that long. Anyway. Last night, here in the bowels of the storm, we were locked in a most glorious battle. Yeah, you weren't fucking here. You just heard about it on the news. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here in Lordly Taylor? Naturally, wherever Master Ma oh, he doesn't say Master there. Wherever the mask goes, you will find at me laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like the mask out elegance you and made a beautiful getaway. But this time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. You, you failed. 
that's basically what you're escaping. I don't want to mention asking what happened last night in more detail. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course! After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. I will get you nowhere, Pinocchio, so if even Phoenix is playing that out. I first received a request for my services twenty days ago. What? I thought you I thought he only did the the uh, the thing like last night with the note. Um And it was ten days ago that we received Master Mask's cutting card. So has he been in here every night for the last ten days? Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Uh, yes, you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere ten days after hiring her, or after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. The calling card arrived, right? Jesus, they've been planning this out for fucking forever. Um, usually you would expect this to only be a pretty quick thing. Um, yes, so it's detective that I am. I set a trap for the thief, right in the warehouse, and waited for him, alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? You've got a lot of nerve, after all, it was you that let the mask get away. I was up with own and get to you, out of the sight of others, until we bring you to court to make you testify on the stand. Question mark. Corn sealed? Uh, corn sealed. Precisely! Even the gods on duty here were unaware of my presence. <laughs> he didn't hear him misspeak. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. Uh, I'm, I'm not a professional quote maker, but I was just wondering if uh, our detectives would like what I came up with. Um, anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Well, clearly he did if he got away. So there's new paint there, and that seems to have been knocked off. I don't think it was like that before. Though presumably this says organized or organic or something. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could it just disappear because it was stolen either under from under your nose or you're the one who stole it because you you know are in the perfect position to do that how you ask don't be ridiculous sir lawyer if i knew the answer to that question i wouldn't be here someone seriously messed up his own stakeout he's rather full of himself so you're saying that even though no one came through or um it says on one. I think it's supposed to say no one. Uh, came through those doors last night? Our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible. Okay, so let's ask about Ace Detective, which he's clearly not one. Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course, for a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I have plenty of knowledge about law, though. I had no idea anyone was left in this city that had not heard of me. Look at me! Uh, okay. I am Mask the Mask's arch enemy, the ace detective Look at me! At this moment, there are two muddy figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. Why does this sound like something out of the Samurai series? Boy, now I'm really fast. What is he saying, Nick? He's being a narcissist. I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. Now, well, you clearly failed that one, and the second and third. After learning his criminal's plans, I thought his very latest loathsome larceny. Ah, uh, yes. You gotta get that alliteration in there. I even returned the portrait of his tyranny, or the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Magina. Through the crime scene. Are we gonna get that as evidence or something? And I took it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask. Or he did it all by himself, rather. Um, with my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the Great People of the Town segment. 
Let's have the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. That's not how things work. Uh, so you basically are just making your living off of it because you then sell the jewel? Mm. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only way to place you raise is your own self-praise. So, okay, I think I am going to examine some stuff. Uh, like this paint that's been spilled everywhere. Just so, lawyer, please refrain from such crude behavior of touching and messing up the crime scene like I always do. Huh? What do you mean? This criminal is an artist! The crime scene is the, is the canvas upon which she paints. Except that's supposed to be a, metaphor, be a metaphor. There's literally paint on the floor. Only I, Ace Detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Um, can you translate that for me, Nick? I think he pretty much said, don't touch anything, amateurs. If there's something you wish to know about, you are but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, mask to mask. Uh, what do I do now? Do you have any top secret information? Something only a real crime buff would know? I'm thinking about what to ask when I, while I listen to what Mr. Ace Detective has to say. So, is he going to give me the same speech if I try to examine that thing too? Yeah, he is. Okay, so I am going to, I guess, see if, I, if that gave me any talk options? Uh, and then if not, maybe present uh, some stuff. Yeah, that did not give me any talk options. Let's present. Did we get any a profile for him or anything? We got a profile for Mask Mask. Flash the thief who steals valuable works of art and sends a calling card before Iced. And look at me, an ace detective has great power of de deduction, yet it rarely makes sense. Okay, so. Um. Anything we can present to him to make us, I guess. Whoops, I should probably go to not evidence. Uh, I should probably be able to present him something that makes him think that I'm worthy of him telling me stuff, I suppose. But I'll just prevent, present everything I have. It's not, you know, the attorney's badge and shit. So let's present the pot. Do not fear, young lady. I promise I shall retrieve your, um... Thank you, Detective Atme. I'm counting on you. Far around right between the detectives look at me and mask the mask. It's set to begin. So, you know, there's something funny about this guy. Yeah, no fucking shit. There's something funny about everyone in this game, though. Yeah, but don't forget you managed to retrieve a treasure from the last heist. Yes, I even have a video that details my role in the whole affair. Uh, can we get that in evidence? I recorded it directly from the news on TV. Can I interest you in a copy? Uh, yes, please. Uh, this should be evidence. Uh, no thanks. Okay, I guess not. Uh, let's present the calling card. That's the mess calling card. It's got a symbol printed on it, right? Quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. Uh, at least it's not his Gen 2 rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information that Clum Shoe gave me. Ah, oh, I hope we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. And another ace detective upstairs. Let's see. Uh, yes, indeed. I think I, would, I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. He says dot 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 and turns his nose away. Well, sir lawyer. I've been told that you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not uh, uh That's right. We're going to find the secretary no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If, by chance, you should discover something of value, but then return then to my office. To my office of earthly delights, the Atme Detective Agency. So presumably we'll have that added to our move list now. Uh, Office of Earthly Delights? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. So that was the thing that gets him to go away, so we can look around. But, wait a minute. He's gone! I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Uh, but, well, it's better than letting him bumble around. Come on, Nick, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. At least we're in the loop this way. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. 
I want to go to this office too. Take me with you, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll be sure to do that. All right, let's examine the stuff. All right, so now we can examine this thing. That pathetic looking wooden box that was knocked over and is looks like uh, looks like some uh, inklings had a battle in a Metal Gear <laughs> level. Ah, that's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Okay. Don't touch it. There are clues to the thief's identity on there. Oh, there's the paint. <sighs> I worked so hard to make that box. Well, you made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, there has always been on its, on its stand in the one you play a fey manner. There was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I, I was so proud of it. <laughs> there you go. You hurt Maya's feelings. You poor, horrible person, Nick. Poor Maya. Maybe it'd be better if Master Mask had taken the box, too. Yeah, did he just take it on his arm? So let's examine this thingy. Wow, this is awesome! Did Miss Andrew say it was called again? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the thing that was in the statue. She, 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 I, don't know, I can't pronounce that. It's literally a seven branch sword in Japanese. Yeah, um, uh, I'm guessing this line wasn't here in the original. Or so says Miss Andrews. Uh, whoa, it's pretty, or, oh, this is Phoenix. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it sounds like hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Uh, wow, you're really firing on all cylinders today, Pearly. The sword. Wasn't Mystic Amy holding it last night? She was indeed. Ah! And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. Yeah, I noticed that too. You're right. Awesome, Pearly! I didn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice. The sword is bent, so that must mean it got touched or used somehow. That's not someone used it somehow. Yes, thank you, Denise. Ah, oh, I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Atme smashed Master Mask with it. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. I don't think he's competent enough to do that. Like this! He probably would have told us. Youch! What the heck? You just hit me with a seven-pointed sword, you jackass. What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head, my hair, no, my iconic spiky hair. Jisisto added to the court record. And it does a little flip. So speaking of the court record, let's look at the description of the ceremony. The sword held in the hand of Amy Faye's statue wasn't bent before the crime. All right, let's go to the other side of the room. So there's a big thing of paint here. Look what you did, Dick! You spilled paint over here! No, I didn't. I didn't do that. But it wasn't here last night. I have noticed the color of this outrageous. Uh, this paint is already dried up! Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick! Uh, paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you, it wasn't me! Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. But it was... But it was just done last night. Hey, look at this. Was there a hair dryer used on it? I don't fucking know. That would make no sense. Like, uh, to stop prints or something? It also has a very jagged right angle corner there. Um, what is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of the stain. Maybe it was originally where the box was. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Alright, so let can we maybe examine the paint cans? No. See, let's examine the big A here. It says, Organy. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says, Organize. You just can't see the last two letters. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess no one else can read either because this place is a mess. Eh, it's ironic. Uh, yeah, you would feel right at home, huh? Well, I don't know if anything changed last night. Um, I don't think the A was bent, but maybe it was. So let's examine the statue, not the thing with me. The statue of Miss Kimi is so cool! I have a gold statue of myself. We can put it in the office. Hey, it's right and co. How about a gold statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Mystic Amy? Was this where it was last night? Um. No, oh, it might have been over here. Huh, maybe that's where the paint shape came from. Maybe it was moved or. It's on a dolly now. I don't think it was last night. Ah! 
I'm pretty sure it was close to the door. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. So it was obviously moved during the crime. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. Okay, Amy Face Golden Statue is updated in the court record. Uh, I think that's all we're going to get from this. Um, so, the statue of the founder of the Korean Chain Techniques moved the night of the crime. So, I guess, let's move and we'll head to the office. And it's, well, let's move to the main exhibition hall first. Well, there's not going to be anything here. So, from there, we can move to the Atman Detective Agency. Alright, I think that's basically it for this video. It's um, pretty much 30 minutes on the dot. So, we will go to the Atman Detective Agency in the next one. I am Mega Dash, and I'm out.